We've already looked at some uh, arithmetic expressions, some ways to do basic math with integers. We're going to look a little more in detail at some operations and introduce a couple new ones. Um, so when we're working with mathematical expressions, we uh, often see these in an assignment statement. Again, remember assignment statements, we have the name of variable and uh, an equal sign is assigned to, and then an expression here, and we can have different operations. Uh, this expression can be variables or numeric constants here. Uh, we can use parentheses and the different operators. So, um, once you look through here and see uh, some examples of expressions, uh, work through these examples. Now, operators, you're familiar with, I think, most of these, the addition, subtraction, uh, the multiplication uh, symbol, we use the star, shift 8, division. Um, and this is a new one, the module or mod operator is the percent sign, and this gives us a remainder. Now we're going to look at this division and percent sign in a little, uh, in a little more detail um, because we're, we're starting off with integer uh, variables. We'll look at decimal or what we call floating point uh, operations in uh, the next unit. Um, so uh, one other thing is that we have the parentheses in here. Uh, so we can use parentheses to group operations together. And we have the standard, what do we call, order of operations. Uh, multiplication, division, and module uh, are higher precedence than addition and subtraction. So if we uh, were to write out an expression without any parentheses, uh, it'll try to go left to right, but it'll make sure it always does the, these operations uh, first before the plus and the minus. Um, so here's some more examples of expressions that you can uh, review. Um, and then this is a simple program that does a calculation for us. And this week we'll, we'll have our assignment be a similar program to this. So let's just kind of review this. This is a car lease cost. Uh, we declare a main method here, and then we have a set of uh, variables we declare, uh, and we initialize all those to zero. Um, there's only comments on one of these. I would suggest you put comments on all of these uh, variables. Um, and then we have um, some output statements and some input statements. So again, the scanner.nextInt is reading an integer from the keyboard and storing it into this variable. So we read in the down payment, the payments per month, and the number of months, and then we compute the total cost. So here's our calculation. So it's the down payment plus the payments per month times the number of months, and then we have this in parentheses. Now we wouldn't necessarily have to have these in parentheses because multiplication is a higher precedence than plus, uh, but it's always a good idea to stick in parentheses. It never hurts to make it explicit what you're trying to do. And then here we're printing out the results of what we were trying to do. Um, so you don't have to do sp any sort of spacing around numbers, but generally we do. Uh, so generally we, we put a plus on both sides, I mean a space on both sides of the plus signs. Uh, the only exception to this is uh, there's something called a unary minus when you want to say uh, the, the opposite of a variable or something like that, and you put a subtraction sign right next to a variable uh, and you're not actually subtracting two variables so if you just want to change the sign that make a variable a negative value or the opposite of what it is you can do this and then you can't have a space in there but generally we will put spaces on both sides of all the operations just to make it a little more readable so again some more exercises here on this and then we're going to get into this division sign and the mod operation so one thing to remember is that this division is uh, going to result in an integer so if we take 24 divided by 10 the result is not 2.4 it's 2 and the remainder is 4 so 10 will go into 24 twice uh, 10, 20, and we'll let, we let, left with the remainder of 4. So it's when we just do the integer, the, the, the result is, I mean, we just do division, the result is 2. Now, as long as both sides of this 
are integers, the result is going to be integer. We'll see with floating point numbers, if either of these is a decimal number or a floating point variable, uh, then it'll do uh, return a decimal here. But in this case, we have integer divided by an integer, and then the result is going to be an integer for us. Uh, which leads to some strange uh, results like 1 divided by 2 is actually 0, not 0.5 here because of the integer division. Now this new operator you may not have seen very much is this. Uh, we use a percent sign to do a mod operation. So again, we'll take 24 mod 10 and the result will be 4. Okay, I guess because 24 divided by 2 is, I mean divided by 10 is 2. Uh, and then the remainder will be 4. Uh, we'll get 10 out of this, and another 10 will be 20, and then we'll get 4 left. So this mod operation is the remainder. And you say, that's strange. Why would you ever want to use that? We actually do use the mod a fair amount, and we'll look at an example down here. Um, if we have so many minutes uh, that we have, and we want to... Um, do some work with that like we want to convert that to hours and minutes so let's say we have a value of um, 67 uh, minutes uh, we wanted to convert that to hours in minutes we can use the division and the remainder to do that so this just walks through a simple example of that so again any sort of example where we were kind of um, we have some sort of count or some sort of value like minutes you count up to 60 and then you count back to zero again and count up to 60 again uh, time does that um, even with units I was just uh, doing uh, a project the other day and we had I was measuring things and so it was uh, 127 inches uh, but I wanted to convert that to how many feet and inches and so we can use the division and the mod to do that sort of calculations for us. Um, one thing we do have to watch is uh, problems with dividing by zero. If we divide uh, by zero uh, in math we we know that can cause a problem. It's in, uh, You might say it's um, undefined or some people say oh, it's, it's infinite uh, amount uh, so we have to uh, try to catch examples and watch for example we're dividing by zero so again this just walks us through an example where we're dividing by zero uh, here we have a calculation where we're calculating the salary uh, per day and we're taking the salary per year divided by days per year but we have to make sure that we haven't set days per year to zero and left it that way So again, some operations here for you to go through. This is a good place to test uh, whether or not you understand the mod operations here. So see if you can uh, do this operations and figure out what the example is. So. Oops, uh, let's go back. Okay, next we want to do is talk about precedence. I hinted to this earlier. Um, but here's the full uh, set of precedents. So by default, we go left to right. Uh, but um, other than that, we have some things. So the highest precedence is the parentheses. Anytime there's a parentheses, we do whatever is in the parentheses first. There's this unary minus where we'll, we can uh, reverse the sign of a variable. Uh, so that's the next highest precedence, and then the multiplication division, and also the mod operations are the next. And again, then last, plus, and minus. So some of these you're probably familiar with. You know, you're used to, in math, thinking of multiplication division being ahead of plus and minus. And you're also probably used to parentheses uh, there. Um, so there's some more exercises here using parentheses and using the order of operations. So something like this you've got to realize that the multiplication is going to happen first and then the plus. So go through here and see, um, work through these exercises. They're rather straightforward, but it's good uh, practice in understanding these sorts of expressions. So Now, there's a, one other thing we're going to bring up, and that's what's called compound operations. Now, this is something we'll be doing a lot uh, is we want to use, uh, we're going to maybe increment a variable or add or multiply something to a variable. So we'll see this expression like user age is assigned user age plus one. So this adds one to user age. Um, th this expression's 
we see a lot, we use a lot. And so we've created a shortcut for that. And that's just to say user age plus equals one. We've kind of combined this user age and that user age and taken this equal and this plus. So we have these operations minus equals, star equals, division equals, and parentheses equals, and plus equals. So again, this user age plus equals one is the same as user age equals user age plus one. Now, I would say we use this plus equals much more frequently. I rarely use any of these, uh, but I use the plus equals fairly regularly. So this is the one you want to remember is how to use that. Um, and again, it's just shortcut for this sort of expression here. Uh, and again, so it walks you through some of this uh, thing. So if num atoms is initially seven, and then we do this num atoms plus equals five, again, that's like num atoms equals num atoms plus five is the shortcut. So go through this and make sure you understand these operators. So a couple of challenge activities here to help you out. Uh, remember, uh, put your solution down here. Uh, and read through these. These are good uh, tests. You won't have to do any of these challenge activities, but they're a good review of what we've been working on so far.